Hey everybody, it's Julianne from Cary Quilting Company in Cary, North Carolina. Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, and I have a fun modern collection for you, plus a bunch of new notions and fun quilty things. Um, so in other words, we're going to have fun. <laughs> so first up is Sublime Summer. Sublime Summer is inspired by the vibrant energy and colors of the perfect summer day. From the swells of the spring tide to the beach blanket used to shelter from a, a summer storm, Enjoy this free-flowing guide through the flawless beach day. Try saying that. This is by Art X Tiles for Free Spirit. That is one word. Art X Tiles. I don't know. It's right there, so you can see what it you can see what it says. <laughs> I do like that's fun, that watery movement. And then we have this, which looks a little shibori. Let's open this. Oh, look how fun that is. Oh, that's going to be a popular piece, I am going to say. Oh, and look at the uh, selvages there. They look like beach glass. That's fun. These are fun. I love when I get to look at them at the same time you guys look at them. Because if you will remember, I probably ordered this uh, six to nine months ago. So I liked it then. I like it now. That's a good thing. <laughs> That's fun. Little kind of uh, rainbow paint splotches. And then we have some bubbles. And I like that. I like the geometry of that and the fact that it looks painty. Ooh, this is fun too. Yeah, that would make great binding. I like all that little kind of smudgy in there too. And that is intentional. This is not a damaged bolt. <laughs> There's another of the same, except for that's a little smaller. That's interesting. The scale on that is just a little smaller than the scale on this. That's pretty neat. And then here are those gorgeous pieces of beach glass. Let's pull this apart. Look at that. I love that. Hey, I knew I liked this nine months ago. <laughs> I guess I still do. Then we've got some splatters, maybe the beginning of a rainstorm. Ooh, this one's fun too. You guys, who wants to make me a quilt? <laughs> you can just put it in the comments. <laughs> and then this is the last piece. I love that color. It's kind of a melony sorbet. Fun. So again, that's called Sublime Summer by art x tiles for free spirit next up i have some fun new notions you may remember tracy who worked here tracy is now our moda sales rep and tracy um, worked hard to show me all the new fun stuff that moda had available um, so this is we have a couple of new well three new gift cards uh, mama says my hairs are complimentary i feel like roberta is going to need a few of these and then we have thanks a bunch, but I love that it's just got that small little nod to quilting there in the uh, jar. And then this one says, wishing you the best birthday ever or B-Day. <laughs> Next up, these got me really excited. These are um, a vintage kite pattern, which I've always admired, but I uh, never really wanted to do those Y seams. These are um, foundation papers that shows you how many you need to get to a certain size. But they're foundation papers for how to make this great kite design. And so uh, you cut this into four, and then you have your one, two, three pieces in each space, and then you can put it all together. Um, and of course, you can go with the darker centers or you can go with the darker lights. And that's what it looks like if you go with the darker centers, this design here, but you get this secondary design with the lights. So I really like this pattern. It is um, definitely a vintage pattern. So I think it would look great in our um, 30 reproductions fabrics, but it is um, super fun and you get 42 sheets per pad. So you have a ton to work with here. And um, I actually have one of these at home that I might play with. Um, next time I have a little bit of free time. Next up, we have two um, ways to carry your cutters and implement safely when you're going to a bee meeting or when you're going to a class or a retreat. I love quilting and cut it out. They are zipper and they're a little bit stiff. Like you can't, I can't squish that. It squishes a little this way, but it's a good way to um, 
travel with a rotary cutter or a seam wrapper or pins or scissors where they're not going to open up and um, make a mess in any of your bags. So we have cut it out and we have I Love Quilting and those are both by It's So Emma. These are called ABC123 Cool Pins and the neat thing about these besides um, they're called cool because they're heat resistant so you can actually iron over these while they're holding things together but it's also nice because if you're trying to remember which row is which you can put these um, on the beginnings or ends of your rows if you're throwing them all up on the ironing board at once and you can't remember what row is what you can just add these pins to your rows and it will help you remember where you are so we've got the whole alphabet and we've got um, numbers in here so if you have a bunch of blocks that you're trying to keep in a certain order you might want to go with the alphabet or you can go with numbers and these fit in this little hurt case just like so and then they're ready for the next time you want to stay organized and last but not least we have the quilt builder card deck and i think this would be so fun there's two of them i think it would be so fun for a bee or a guild or even just you and some friends to um, challenge yourselves so when you open this up, you get you can draw a card, just like a deck of cards, and the card will have the picture of the block on the front, and then a, just a one page, you know, the back of the card will tell you how to make that block. And we'll also give you options for making it in different sizes. So you can do, um, I believe every block comes in three sizes, or maybe even more than that. She had one opened up that I got to play with when she was visiting. Um, but anyway, I just think it would be a fun challenge to pull a block and then everybody make one or everybody, um, one of the ones I saw, maybe they even come as big as 36 blocks. I think they do, 36 inch blocks. So you could just use one pattern and create an entire incubator quilt out of one block pattern. You could take one of these more um, intricate ones and then have something um, fun made up just as a one block wonder. So that's what we have for you today. Hopefully some of this is fun for you and something that maybe you want to um, work on the next time you are in your sewing room. Have a great afternoon. We'll see you back here from the shop tomorrow. Bye.